एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी टूडे विल बी टीचिंग द कौशी गौरसे थियरम लाइवलीज थियरम मैक्सिमम मॉड्यूलर्स थियरम मिनिमम मॉड्यूलर्स थियरम so for more details you can refer to the book from ashan publishing details are given on this side link is given in the description box so let us start with the today's video in the first part of the video we will be covering the cauchy gorset theorem and in the second part of the video we'll be discussing the lavalier theorem maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem so in the first part of the video we'll start with the cauchy gorset theorem This is Cauchy-Gorset theorem. So it says that that if f z is analytic inside and on on. a closed curve c on a closed curve c then the integration of over the c for this fz will be zero so it says that if fz is analytic inside and on a closed curve c then the integration of fz dz over this uh, closed curve c is coming out to be zero this is also known as cauchy integral theorem or simply cauchy theorem it is known as cauchy gorset theorem because uh, gorset has given the proof for this without the restriction that fz should be continuous in r so that is why uh, later on it has been renamed as cauchy gorset theorem so this is a very important theorem because if a function is uh, proved that it is analytic inside and on a closed curve c then the integration is coming out to be zero so no need to calculate this integral immediately we can write the value of the integral so we can see this in uh, with the help of one example so evaluate integration c dz if let us take few examples so this is first second example is c z dz then third example is c z minus z not dz and where c is a closed curve closed curve and z not is a constant z not is a complex constant so now in this part a we see that if we compare it with the c fz dz so in the first part the fz is coming out to be 1 which is which we know that it is analytic everywhere on this closed curve c inside and on this closed curve c so as soon as we say that fz given fz is analytic inside and on c then immediately we can say that c fz dz dz is coming out to be zero similarly we can come to the second part of the question that we need to evaluate c uh, this z dz over this c closed curve and this is again a, uh, this fz is z and which is which we know that it is analytic inside and on this closed curve c doesn't matter what the c is so this is also coming out to be zero and the say by the same logic the value of this third integration is also coming out to be zero so this is a very powerful theorem which will be used in calculating this contour integral over this c and when if it is established that this fz is analytic inside and on this closed curve c then the no need to calculate this integral this is this will be coming out to be zero now we'll take one question to make it more clear that what will be the difference that when the curve is analytic and when it is not so evaluate this c dz over z minus a 
where this uh, sign represents that where C is a closed curve. And we need to evaluate this integral in two conditions. So first is that A is outside C and second is A is inside C. So let us say that uh, C is a closed curve. So X and Y. So let us say that this is a closed curve. So when a is outside this as we can see that fz is equal to 1 over z minus a. So fz is having a singularity at z equals to a and if this a is not inside the curve c that means it is outside the curve c then it is very very clear to us that this fz is analytic is analytic inside and on c inside and on the given curve C, on the given closed curve C. Therefore, the value of the integration dz over z minus a is 0 by cauchy gorset theorem or simply Cauchy theorem. Now, for the second part, when A is inside C, now we cannot apply this cauchy gorset theorem because say A is somewhere here. Then we need to form this neighborhood of this and let us say that this is centered at, this is with, with radius epsilon centered at 0, 0. So, uh, we, can, we can write down this uh, definition of this circle. And this will be the direction of the curve because uh, counterclockwise is going to be the positive direction. For the second part, when A is inside C, so we need to write that Z minus A is equals to epsilon e raised to the power iota theta. So Z will be replaced with A plus epsilon e raised to the power iota theta. And then we will be calculating this. So, the value of the integration dz over z minus a is coming out to be 2 pi i which is not 0 since fz was not analytic inside and on c. So, we have seen that the value of the integration will be something different than 0 if it is not analytic inside and on C. It is not necessary that, uh, you know, if this curve would have been, this is given as closed curve C and this value of this integration is coming out to be 0, then it is not necessary that we will say that it was analytic. But if it is analytic, inside and on this closed curve C, then the cauchy gorset theorem says that the value of the integration will be necessarily coming out to be 0. So in this part of the video, we have learned about the cauchy gorset theorem, which is also known as simply Cauchy theorem. And since Gorset has given the proof of this without the restriction that f dash z should be continuous on this entire region r, therefore it is also named as Cauchy Gorset theorem. And we have seen the importance of this theorem with the help of this theorem. No need to calculate the value of the integration of the contour integral c f z d z if it is proved that f z is analytic inside and on this closed curve c. Then this value of the integration is always coming out to be zero. Now in the second part of the video, we will learn about the Lavalier's theorem, maximum modulus uh, theorem and minimum modulus theorem. For in-depth knowledge of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschant Publishing, details of which is given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.